welcome to a brand new day so in today's video i'm actually going to be showing you guys my new simple and opulence duvet linen cover set so basically i was sent this duvet cover linen set and i'm very excited because you guys know i've never done linen in my bed so this is perfect for the spring so simple and opulence sell linen duvets also covers sheets euro shams etc so they have a ton of these and also they have these in different colors as well so what they have is an amazon store and then they also have a regular store online that you can shop so we are going to go ahead and unpackage these i'm super excited y'all because you guys know spring is coming so i'm very very excited like i said 100 percent linen very high quality very nice this is actually how they come packaged and we are going to go ahead and um open these today so when you get your pack basically um it's set up they i mean they're super nice you'll get a little booklet and it says home textiles so yeah so yeah let's go ahead and unpackage and put our new simple and opulence duvet cover set on our bed so let's get started okay guys so right here we have a simple and opulence 100 percent washed linen duvet cover set like i said before this is in the five piece it includes a duvet cover, two shams, and two pillowcases in basic style, natural, French, black, soft, breathable farmhouse bedding. 100% pure natural wash linen, very soft and actually becomes softer after each wash. Also, it is environmentally friendly, responsible, and suitable fabric production. Unique, breathable, cool feeling, sweating is not sticky. Good natural luster, not easy to fade, not easy to shrink. Heat conduction and moisture absorbance is larger than cotton fabric. The wrinkly look is the unique texture of the linen fabric, which is more natural and textured. Also, it is machine washable on a gentle cycle, and you do not have to use any detergent that contains any bleach or whitener. You can tumble dry at a medium heat and iron on medium heat if needed. Not to mention, guys, this is a very great gift choice and perfect for anniversaries, weddings, Thanksgiving, parties, Christmas, holidays. Also, what I love is that they have the envelope closure Penef pillow from slipping out to offer you an extremely comfortable sleep at night. So I do have two of these, and then also they come with two pillow shams as well which also has the same thing to where it doesn't come out so i'm just taking these two pillows and i'm actually folding them and then what i'm going to do is just give it a nice tufted look and right here i'm just showing you guys how you guys can use a nice little decorative pillow to put on one side if you choose to or you can use both sides with the longer pillow but the fact that it's versatile to where you can do both of them is genius and i'm just going to take it and then just tuck it and then just do a nice little chop. I just think these are really nice, high quality. The linen is very nice. And I love just like the stone wash. It looks absolutely stunning. Also, I wanted to mention that it has the hidden button closure. So you can basically hide your buttons at the end of your duvet whenever you're folding. Also, it has secure corner ties that come with four. And I love the fact that it has the overlap closure design. 
and then also the envelope closure design as well on the shams and the pillowcases i would highly recommend this set it is so beautiful also it comes in a king a twin a fool and a queen it comes in the colors white dusty blue linen olive green sage green and sand and then they also have other colors and patterns as well with the idea of help and comfort focuses on natural home textiles i want to thank simple opulence for sponsoring today's video i will have all links in the description for you guys to shop <music> over here doing a little spring cleaning y'all this is a lot that's what i've been doing this whole time is why i ain't picked y'all up yet but basically i'm trying to tackle this closet right here just got like a bunch of stuff and i've already um put my sheets and my extra duvet covers up but i want to get this stuff out of this closet so let's get this out real quick
bag. So whatever I'm not keeping, I'm just gonna put in this bag. Um, I think I'm gonna donate these. I've had these for a couple years now. <laughs> I think I'm gonna donate those. Probably this hat. Mm. Mm. I think I wanna donate this purse. I think. Um. Mm. Maybe. What else we got? Oh yeah, this is a sweater. Let's see. Do I wanna? I might wanna keep this sweater. And then I got these. Um, what's these? Um, a new day like white sneakers I think I'll keep these too um, and then I got some all star um, Adidas I think I'll keep those so this bag has Matter of fact, I could probably put this purse in here and then I might use it again one day. But this is like a, tra not travel, but this is like a vacation bag. So it just has like um, swimming suits and stuff in it. So put this to the set because it's about that time. This is a coat that I got from Von Moore. When I worked at Buy More last year, it's like a bubble coat. I think I'm going to go ahead and hang this up in the closet. And that way, she will be good. So, I think I'll keep the sweater. And I think I want to put this dress in my closet. And I think I want to keep these too. These boots right here. Mm, I got these Steve Madden boots last year when I worked at Von Moore as well. But y'all, they are so uncomfortable. They're like, but they're like so cute. But they're super, not super, but they're uncomfortable. Um, but they're super cute. These boots was like, when I got them, it was on sale. But the original price was like 126 Like, yeah. So I might sell these. I ain't gonna lie. I don't think I'm gonna get these away. I think I might sell these to like clothes mentor or something, but don't need them because they're not comfortable. And then I'm going to go ahead and probably donate these. Well, sell these too. So I'll just put them in here with these boots. And then those can be sold. And then... other stuff and then this cover right here i think i'm going to put this cover um inside of my new duvet um so it could be thicker so that's what i'm gonna do with this okay where's my other shoe at? i don't know oh, here we go okay so i'm probably leave this right here but I think I think it's all summer stuff in here. Let me see. So that's like summer stuff. So I'll just put this in here. So I basically changed my clothes because it's hot. And I made some water. So basically what I'm doing now is I'm going through like my summer, uh, spring like dresses. And I'm basically kind of like going through them to see what I want, what I want to keep, etc. This dress I have on right now, um, it's just like a cute little um, tennis dress from Zara. 
I think I wore this tennis dress, um, well, tennis inspired dress from uh, Zara last year for my birthday. Um, just to like go to the hotel or whatever. Just kind of like during the day. So I think this is a really, really cute dress. Also, I think this dress would be cute if it was like, if my hair was like pent up like this. Like I feel like this would be cute if my hair was like pent up like this too. Like I think that'd be super cute. As a matter of fact, that's a look. So I pent the hair up like this. I think it's cute. Like ain't that so cute? With the hair pent up. Even though the hair is really short, it's cute though. Yeah, for these type of looks. I'm gonna have to start learning how to like do like certain styles with certain looks. I just feel like a style like this. It's like better for a dress like this because you know you don't want to cover up everything with your long hair so i think it's a super cute comment let me know what y'all think but yeah i want to go through this stuff real quick and basically um i want to yeah just go through this stuff so the first thing i have is this really cute dress this was gifted to me by my best friend um this is a lulu's dress um it is in an extra large so it's probably like a little bit big for me now but this is a cute like wrap around like flowy dress it actually has um some ruffles on it it's a very elegant like mustard color dress i wore this for my birthday i think maybe like two years ago it's so so pretty though y'all it's so pretty and then it has like ruffles at the end too like how cute so i'll definitely keep this um this is just a piece so i'll definitely keep this and then it also has a belt so i'll keep that and then this dress is a dress that I wore to Florida last year. Florida was such, y'all, it's, it's, it's time to go. It's time to travel. Um, this is just like a cute little like maxi dress. Um, it just has like this really big flower that's red on here, but it looks super cute. And then it has this detailed like gold button right here in the middle. And then the straps are like kind of crisscross, so it goes like this. So... And this is actually by, who is this by? Emma Michelle. This is actually in a medium, which I feel like I fit this better this year. So last year I was, nah, I don't think I was too big last year. But I was gonna say last year I was a little bigger. Well, I know I've lost weight now, but I should be able to fit these a lot better. Um, Cause I'm like trying to tone. Y'all look at my arm. Like, do y'all, <laughs> Do y'all see that muscle? Like, do y'all see that muscle though? Do y'all see that? Girl, okay. Um, I'm just saying. So, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one, which is super cute. So, I'm gonna keep this dress. And then I have this orange dress. I think I had just got this from like, where I get this from? Maybe like one of them like old city trend stores or something. Um, and it's just like a, um, basically like a, um, not really a burnt i guess it's like a burnt orange like dress and it's like a maxi it just kind of comes like a little little down here but it's like a little maxi i think it fits me super cute too and i also think a style like this with the pent up hair is why i want to give me a wig that's like a good lace like this one and like have it long because i just want like that long wig where the hair will like come out more that'd be super cute but yeah got this this is actually in the medium two so i think i'll keep this for now and then this gorgeous baby i actually had got this to go to florida last year um, if you don't know i did go to tampa last year and i wore this absolutely stunning dress it was so pretty and i wore this dress and i just love the neckline i love how it's cut it's super pretty um the colors are just gorgeous and then it also has a belt on it as well and I just love the black. I love black dresses that just got like the pops of color. It just looks so, so, so pretty. Like, and it just, I could just, I just feel like this type of colors, I just feel like this really pops on a black woman's skin. Like it's just so, so, so gorgeous. So yeah, keeping that. <laughs> so we're gonna keep this and we might just wear this. I don't know. Once I get a little bit more snatched, I might take myself out with this or something, catch a vibe solo date closing date or you know you never know you know what i'm saying and then 
now dresses that i might not keep i'm not gonna lie like i got this one last year but i don't think i'm going to keep this dress i believe this came from okay venus now i liked it when i first got it but i'm not sure if it's something that i actually want to wear for the second time um it's kind of cute it's like a zebra like vibe this could be cute for like a fake i don't know should i keep it? i don't know y'all with the hair it's looking kind of cute okay i'll keep this one because i feel like with the hair especially like with like a longer hair pin up i think this would be a real cute look with just like a nice little like strappy sandal um with a nice like hair pin up because i feel like with this um hairstyle in particular i think this dress goes cute okay so i'll give this another chance okay i'll give it another chance maybe I feel like I'm pretty much keeping all my dresses. Like I said, I'm a dress girl. So, honey, this is another dress. I think I wore this one. I think I wore this dress when I was in, I think, Carmen de Playa last year. This is by Tia. Um, it's like a satin, like, silk material. So gorgeous. Like I said, love those pops of colors on that black and that white. It just looks absolutely beautiful. And I would have to say that this might be one that I might keep because I just feel like you just, I, I don't know, it's something about the print though. Like, the print is giving, I'm here and I'm here to stay and I don't care what nobody say. <laughs> like, I just feel like the print is so, so, so pretty. And then also it's like an off the shoulder like vibe. So it's just very, very flattering as well. Super cute. Love this. So I will probably be keeping this one. It has to be one in here that I'm not keeping. I'm not going to lie. I might get rid of that orange dress. I don't know yet. So, let's see. Now, this green dress. This is actually a dress that I wanted to um, take pictures in. I did take... This is by Akira. Um, I think... I want to say, y'all, when I went to um, Columbus, I want to say I've seen this store in Columbus. I'm going to have to take another solo trip to Columbus soon because I'm pretty sure I've seen a store in Columbus. It's called Akira... I'm pretty sure, but this is in a medium. Let me see. Yeah, this is in a medium. So this is just it's this very like dramatic, like green, like it's sort of like a gown. And uh what's crazy is y'all is when I first had got this dress, all I kept thinking was that I feel like this dress will go really, really cute on vacation. And I low-key still want to wear it on vacation, just kind of like be on the beach. Because I feel like this is just like one of dresses that you can like have on a beach or just have like a really pretty like gorgeous background oh i can see it now y'all mm, 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 mm. i can see it now so yeah just have like a really like gorgeous like background with this nice flowy dress like how gorgeous and then it also comes with a belt that comes around it and you can just tighten it up in your waist like so pretty but like can y'all see the vibes though this is how it looks and i'm sure i can fit it better now that i'm losing weight which i'm going to stay consistent on y'all because i want to get at least yeah I want to lose some more weight, but yeah, I think I'll keep this one. And then I know it's the least. Oh, this is my, okay. Again, like I said, y'all know I love them patterns. So this is another dress that I probably can fit better now. These are some very like different like classic dresses. As you guys can see, like now I ain't gonna lie, like in the winter time, like I'm very like, reserved it's like black white creams you know very monochromatic i think but y'all in the summertime mm -mm. in the summer oh i bust them colors out as you guys can see i just love the type of dresses like this i think they are super super pretty and then also i love a good pattern as well so this is how it looks and then See, when I was wearing this last year, I feel like when I was wearing this last year, um, my, you know, my chest was kind of popping out because I was, I was kind of bigger. But again, I feel like the dresses that was like kind of a little big, I feel like I might just kind of fit better this year. So I'm definitely about to be toning up and getting myself together because I don't want to get rid of these dresses. I think the dresses that I have is very like classic <laughs> and just like, you feel me? I feel like I could wear these for like years if I wanted to. Just to kind of, and I feel like they all like statement pieces, right? So pretty. This is how the back will look. And I think that this is by a brand called 
Sapa G, and this is actually in a large already. So yeah, this is in a large. Now this is one of my faves. If you've been here for a while and you don't see me in the summer, you probably see me wear this probably in like <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I was probably wearing this in like every, not every, but like you was you would always catch me in this. This was like my go-to in the summertime. Um, just to kind of like throw on, like make runs, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, girl. Now this is just like a this is actually a one piece i wore this when i went to aruba out the country it was cool when i first got it but now it's just not my style so it's like a one piece romper and as you can see the 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 neckline is insane i don't think i would have the guts to wear something like this again and honestly i'm not really a shorts girl so like i'm not a girl who like to wear shorts that's like really short i wear a dress but even like for my dress i wanted to at least like come down or like have like a nice stretch uh shorts where like you can see like the bottom of your bum no <laughs> um no <laughs> i'm getting too old for this okay so this is enough then this is another short dress but i feel like this short dress is like a very like cute um nice material dress and i like that it's like kind of rouged as well so i will keep this one i wore this last year when i went out with the girls um, I think it's very gorgeous and I love the color so pretty So I think I'll keep this one because I think this will also be good for vacation as well And I just think it's super cute and really nice for like a date night summer But this is another like colorful dress. I did get this when I was in San Antonio, Texas Um, I think last year this isn't a large but I thought this was really cute when I got it. It's very colorful Um, I've actually never wore a dress that was this colorful or like with like the stripes But I think it's really cute and I think it'll really like I think it's really cute so it has like a little button back here and then yeah just have a look and then it also has a belt to come with it so i think this is cute and i have not worn this yet so i will give this a chance this year so i would say i will keep that one i think this is also like a romper dress but this is like a dress it's not like shorts so i could possibly keep this one i wore this a couple i think in 2021 i think um if i can get it unfolded girl what is this dress actually came from h m and it does come with a belt this is the belt right here and you can like put it around you i think this is actually really cute and i think this will also be cute for like a little uh pin up too with the hair and it has like a little mid sleeve and it's like a very like stretchy material and then like the material is like a almost like a satin like stretchy material really cute so i'll keep this one simply because i feel like this is just like something cute and like classy i can put on it's just like cute quick and you know you know cute now these two are like going out dresses i did get this i think last year because i thought i was gonna wear it out the country i never wore it though i ain't even take it with me <laughs> it's like a cream like um silk like little dress it's really cute though uh i think i got this one like forever 21 super cute i think i might wear it this year catch a little bab so i'll give it a chance and then this is the dress that i had from last year as well just like a black like velvet um dress really cute and i think this is by let's see rampage yeah no revamped so really cute with the straps i think i had wore this one in one of my videos when i first moved here so i'll keep that one too now the rest of this i feel like is not going to be a thing like those are like i think these workout clothes oh these workout clothes i need this it's a cute little shirt oh uh, yeah i need this i think i was wearing this when i was um playing tennis last year if you guys don't know i do play tennis um so i will actually wear this to the gym though yeah i'm gonna wear this to the gym it's just like a little like fleece so i think i'll wear that to the gym and i could probably wear this too actually hmm yeah i'm gonna wear this to the gym this is cute little purple shirt i'm gonna wear that okay so let's see what else we got so no that's a no and then i got oh i forgot about this one this is another this is another like sparkling <laughs> y'all I, I i don't 
don't know. I just love these little dresses. It's like another like sparkly, like cute little Forever 21. Little like mini dress I thought was cute. It's like a sparkly vibe. Like how cute. I think this is in like a medium probably. Or large. Yeah, this is in. Still got the tag. This was $19.90. But how cute is this? Like so cute. I gotta really like hang these up in my closet because these are the pieces that I want to start reaching for when I like go on a date. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Um this is another one. Another classic printed dress. Did I show you how this? I can't remember, but this is another um nice little dress. So many dresses. And then I think I wore this dress last year for Valentine's Day. It's just like a checkered dress with some roses on it. And then it has like a cute little like off the shoulder sleeve. Really cute. But I don't think I'm going to keep this this year. I think that's a no. And then this is a Calvin Klein dress. Like it's very elegant, but I don't think I'm going to keep it though. But it's very elegant, but I just don't think... I'm gonna keep it. Now this right here is a long black dress. Um, I think this is like a little bad, I ain't gonna lie. Like I feel like this is something that I could just like kind of wear throughout the house flowy. So I'm gonna keep this cause it's black, it's sleek and it, it sits really good on me. Okay y'all, so I wanted to show you guys these new perfumes that I ended up getting from Dossier recently. If you are not familiar with Dossier, Dossier is a company that sells high-end luxury do perfumes and they smell so good y'all and not only that like you literally get it for the fraction of the price and y'all this is not my first time working with them as you guys can see behind me i have dossier perfumes and they smell so good and they literally smell like the dupes of the luxury perfume so i actually have four fragrances and i'm super excited because what inspired me to actually get the fragrances is because i wanted to try the miss dior um the 2017 version and y'all I'm excited. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started so I can show you guys the fragrances that I got for this month. So when you get your box, your box is going to come packaged like this. It's going to be a box to say Dossier. And when you open your box, this is how it is going to look. Okay. So what you get is like a card that um, basically gives you the notes and... Mm, they basically give you like the notes and the information so here is how it looks so basically the first one is the one that i was actually excited about which is the floral pink pepper and this is inspired by dior miss dior 2017 version um it is concentrated of 18 percent it says dossier mission is to deliver the highest quality luxury inspired fragrances at a fair price giving you the freedom to explore scents without markups okay so basically, so when you open your box, it'll look like this. And like I said, this is inspired by the Miss Dior, so I'm very excited. So the notes in here, um, the top notes are pink pepper, base notes are patchouli, blonde woods, and vanilla, and orange, okay? And y'all, let's smell this, I'm super excited. I think the Miss Dior smells so so feminine so girly like this is why i wanted this one because i knew like i'm like this is what i want this is gonna be perfect for the summertime let's see oh my god oh my are you kidding this smells just like the one i smelled in the store wow this smells so good okay so this is the miss dior in the floral pink pepper so this is how their bottles look super cute and then they also have a magnetic top as well so you will never lose your top if it's like in your purse or something like that so really nice and i think the bottles are really nice too this is actually a 1.7 fluid ounce so this is a very very nice size and to be honest the fact that their bottles are this big with this much perfume in it like wow some of the real perfumes ain't even got this much. Y'all, this smells so good. This smells just like it. Oh my God. This is the Floral Pink Pepper and this is inspired by Miss Dior 2017 version. So that's the first one. Let's see what else we got. Cause I love Dossier. And they also have candles too, which 
I'll probably be trying them next. I heard they're pretty good. And then they also come out with like different um, fragrances of candles all the time. So like if you go to the website and you don't see it, just keep checking because they're constantly coming out with new stuff. Okay, so the next one is the Floral Rhubarb. This is actually inspired by Marc Jacobs. Perfect. And it is an 18% concentration. Notes are orange blossom, peach, cedarwood, blonde, woods, and musk. Okay, I love the Marc Jacobs Perfect Original. So when I seen that they had this one, I was like, let me try this. Oh wow, yes. Dang, this smells so good. They, I'm telling you, Dossier perfumes are so, so like almost identical to the fragrances. It's insane. Wow. Wow, baby. This smells so good. This literally smells like it. This is it right here. It smells so good. It smells just like, if not just so close to that Marc Jacobs Perfect. And y'all, I love the Marc Jacobs Perfect. So if you guys love the Marc Jacobs Perfect, this is, this is it, sis. This is it. This your time, sis. <laughs> this your time, sis. Because, and then um, their perfumes also retail from 29 up to 49. So the fact that you can get these like perfumes and really have like a good dupe to luxury perfumes, that's a steal, literally. So that's that one. So, so far we got the Marc Jacobs Perfect and then the Miss Dior 2017 so far. Let's see what this next one is. So this next one is Ambry Sage. This, yeah, I already knew this is Tom Ford. This is inspired by Tom Ford. Fabulous. So this is inspired by Tom Ford. That's the name, okay. So basically the notes in here are Bitter Almond, Sage Lavender, um, Leafy Notes, Vanilla, Amber Blonde Woods, and Tonka Bean. This is a 18% concentration. And this is the Ambry Sage. Now, okay, let me just say this. It's a note in here that is very, very strong. Like, let me just say that. Um, now, I've never personally smelled the um, Tom Ford Fabulous. So, mm, I can imagine it probably smell like it because this is a very distinctive, like, it's a note in here that's just so strong, it's insane. Another thing too about Dacia perfumes is that they last a long time and they'll last all day and you don't need a ton of sprays. A little bit go a long way, literally. It smells good though. Um, I wouldn't say that it's my favorite. I definitely would not gravitate towards this. Um, whatever, it's a note in here that's just very, very strong that I don't really care for. But it's not too bad. I've never smelled the Tom Ford Fabulous, so, but it's not bad though. It definitely has like a bitter, I don't know what they say, a bitter almond. Maybe that's what I smell is like a bitter almond because it's like, it's like a smell that I really can't describe, but it's not bad though. So if you guys like the, um, the time for it, fabulous, um, you guys might like this because I'm sure it probably smells just like it. So our last one is YSL Le Bray, okay, so, or is it Le Bray? This is a 15% concentration. Notes are Jasmine Lavender, Orange Blossom, Vanilla Amber Musk, Mandarin, and Black Currant. So, and the name of this is Floral Lavender. I think I smelt this in Alta Beauty before. Now, I do have the YSL um, Black Opium, and then I have the YSL Mon Paris, which both of them chef's kiss so like i have the original of those but i think i smelled this in a store i think i know for a fact i smelled this because this smell like you ever like okay you ever like smelled like a perfume line and like all the perfumes in that line kind of got like that one note that just be like okay this is that brand this reminds me of that like i feel like even though i don't know if i smelled it before this smells like a YSL scent. Like this smells like a very like sophisticated, rich type of, you got your stuff together. Like, yeah, I like this. 
I'm pretty sure I smelled this in Alta. I would have to say that this probably smells like the original. Yeah, I would have to give it to them. Shout out to Dossier. They doing their thing with these scents, y'all. And I don't know how they do it, but they doing their thing with getting these dupes so close. Wow. It's crazy. Shop Dossier, y'all, because like I said before, the fact that these notes are, and these fragrances are so close, if not the exact dupe to these luxury perfumes is insane because as you guys know, the luxury perfumes just cost a ton of money. Me personally, I don't too much invest into them. Like the ones that I was telling y'all I had earlier, those were um, travel. So I had basically got those because I wanted to travel. So those was like, even like the small little skinny one travel ones, like $25, $30. So yeah, it's safe to say that nobody really wants to pay that price for a luxury perfume. Dossier is definitely a nice alternative. Out of any other company, I feel like Dossier definitely just has those dupes that's like very close if not almost identical because i also got the ambery saffron which is yeah and then i got the um black opium in the um dossier as well which y'all smells just like it and yeah shout out to dossier for sponsoring this portion of the video y'all because i love them and I'm honestly so lucky to like work with them because they really do come through with the perfumes. You can use these for a gift for your friends, your best friend. These can be like birthday gifts, etc. because they worked it and I just feel like, yeah, love that here. So yeah, I had a link clicked in the description for you guys. To add these to my collection. Oh my God, girl. Got that floral pink pepper, which this is literally the reason why I wanted to get some. Got that floral pink pepper. As you guys can see, that's here, girl. I was not playing. And then this is the Ambery Sage. I want you guys to comment and let me know. Do you guys have any Dossier perfumes? Oh, your girl getting stacked up. Dossier keeping me happy. Mmm. Okay, period. And I have more than this. I think I gave away at least like what two of them to friends and family, which I think one was the Gucci Bloom and then one was the Jum Along. Got that floral lavender. They all just smell so good. Like, girl, oh yeah, Dossier, baby. I know that's right. She ain't never wrong. <laughs> so yeah. My love these. And then they just so perfect because I just love that they all just look so nice and sleek. Let me turn the light on real quick. Yes, ma'am. What a gas spam. They look so good. So the kind that I got is the um Amber Saffron, which is the I think it's the Baccarat dupe. And then I think this one is MLK. I think this is a, I don't know, but it's MLK, I think. And then this one is Woody Sandalwood, which is inspired by Santel 33. And the Ambry Vanilla, which is inspired by YSL Black Opium. Pink Pepper, inspired by um, um, Miss Dior 2017. Ambry Sage, inspired by Tom Ford Fabulous. And then the Floral... Red Bar inspired by Marc Jacobs Perfect. And then the Floral Lavender is inspired by YSL. So yeah, bro, we got two YSLs, so yeah. Looking nice, looking nice, looking right. Yeah, I can still get the same perfumes for a fraction of the price. Everything is looking real good. Yeah, comment below if you guys um, have tried Dacia perfumes out before. Good morning loves, I hope you all are all doing well today. So today is a new day. Today's date is actually Friday. I wanted to come on here because I wanted to tell you guys something. I'm gonna try not to get emotional on y'all, but um, um I'm not getting the house. Um, it was already sold, which I know, um, you know, like I told you guys, why am I crying? Jesus. 
Let's try this again. <clears throat> the house, um, somebody already had bought the house and is going through the process of getting a home. So the home that I showed you guys, I would not be getting. But that's okay. Um, if I could find something similar to it, I would still be happy with that. But I am going to stay focused on the go. Um, the house was beautiful. I know you guys were all excited about it. Um, but that's not going to be the house that I get. Um, so I'm just I'm just processing that. And literally, um, I just found this information out today on Friday. So. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, I don't really want to be sad on camera, but yeah, that's that. So, but I'm going to keep looking. Um, hopefully, I can find something that, you know, that I love because I did love what I seen, but I know that's just the first home. So, I probably got emotionally too invested to in, in it. I don't know, whatever. But yeah, so I'm not, I'm not getting a house. So. Um, yeah, um, I'm okay, I'm okay. I want you guys to comment and let me know what do you guys think about the bedroom so far. I love how it's like bringing like that fresh spring vibe into the bedroom. I love that. Um, hopefully me and my litter can go look for another, um, property today and maybe go look at some homes today and see you know if it's just anything out there that is going to be something that i want and something that i'm looking for specifically because i'm just not looking for any type of house um i have a vision and i have you know just i have a vision you know for what i want in a home um so yeah anyways i uh, hope you guys all enjoyed this vlog i love you all um, I just want to say thanks for the support and um, thanks for everyone who is um, rooting for me and, and continue to root for me and want the best for me. So I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.